What's up guys, it's AJ Marco here. Welcome to episode number two of MVP Base 2005 Classic Stadium Edition. Today, we are the Texas Rangers. We're gonna play against the Houston Astros. This is a stadium that the Astros had from 1962 to 1999, and then they moved to Minute Maid Park, which is then called Aaron Field. And to this day, they still are playing today. And Astro Field is not really used for game baseball much as he, anymore, but it has been used as a refuge just in 2005 when the hurricane hit Louisiana. Let's not throw that out there. Anyway, anyway, let's get going. This is before the Astros were in the American League, by the way. So if you get confused by seeing a pitcher bat, it's because this is when the Astros were in the National League. So that was before the Astros became a good American League team and a big time. American League West rival of the Texas Rangers. They were also in the National League Central back at the, t the time. So that was when the National League and American League were unbalanced because the National League had not one, had more teams than any other teams. They had like six versus the traditional five. Now they got that balanced. Anyway, three up, three down for us. And we got interesting pitcher. Juan Dominguez, he did not pitch much for the Rangers. I don't think he did very good with the Rangers as a pitcher. Let's see how we do. And the first pitch, of course, base hit. And there's Rusty Greer. I did call him up from the minors because I wanted to see Rusty Greer play. He was a very key hustler for the Rangers back in the 90s. And ever since he played from 94 to 2002, and then injury stopped him from performing more, and he ended up, as a result... Retiring back in 2005. That's why he um, is on here because I got uh, giving him another chance. Ground ball. Young can't get there. It's a base hit from Jeff Bagwell. Hall of Famer, by the way. And now we got two Hall of Famers up. Craig Biggio and Jeff Bagwell. And there's Lance Berkman. That, uh, that for the record, that I don't see that as his stance, by the way. I don't know why his stance is like that. And there's a fly ball to right. And that's going to be a quick throw. And they're going to be hold. And he's going to be on third. Runners in the corners with two outs. There's Morgan Ensberg. Morgan Ensberg. I remember I was in a game in 2004 when the Rangers were playing at the old stand called, at the time, AmeriQuest Field. The, um, Morgan Ensberg was up. Everyone was like yelling, Morgan. And they ground out. They all said, Never mind. And Young the short. And that's the third out. And now we got Mark Teixeira going to be leading off. And Teixeira, he's been beefed up a little bit in this one. I edited his stance a bit to make it more realistic. And there's a high drive. Deep to right field. And you can say goodbye. Home run. Texas Rangers. And Mark Teixeira gives the Rangers their first run of the game. It was a... He saw it coming. It went up in the air. And it was a long home run. Uncatchable in the outfield. And here is Richard Hidalgo. This this is a former Astro right here, Hidalgo. In fact, the Rangers back in 2005 were his, was his last team to be on. And though he has 13, he ended up having 51 in his last Major League Baseball season. Delucci hits in the left field. That ball is going to be a base hit. And the left fielder stumbled a bit. And, Rusty, and of course, David Delucci gets on. And now here is... Rusty Greer. Rusty Greer. A chance to revive himself. There's a ground ball. Base hit. Rusty Greer might get a base hit here. He's going to go for two. An RBI double for Rusty Greer. Yeah, that's right. R double. And now, Rod Barajas. Rod Barajas is a, is a guy you did not expect. He was a one of the Rangers catchers. Because they also had him and Gerald Laird. And he's out at the plate. He tried to get around the tag. I think I better look at this. And yep, he was out by, by a half an inch. Dominguez at the plate. The pitch. Grounded. And that's an easy play. So, that was easy. And now we are ahead, though. 2-0 with Jason Lane, Pescanino, and Brett Osmus coming up. Dominguez is going to try and pitch his best game if he can because it's a little hard to pitch against the team known as the Houston Astros because they are a very top, they were a top tier hit team when it comes to their pitching. So that was what they really needed. In 2005 in this universe, 
the Astros actually made their first World Series appearance. Thus, they are they have bragging rights for having the first World Series games in Texas. But however, they did not win any games because they actually got swept by the Chicago White Sox in four straight games. Because usually in World Series, you got to win four games to win a World Series. Wasn't always like that. There was a tie. It used to be a best of nine, but that only happened a few, like a handful of times before they, after 1921, which is the last best of nine, they end up switching to the best of seven format. And there's a ground block. Blaylaw's going to have to make a quick throw here. The throw. Oh. That was close. Blaylaw made a good diving play right there. We're going to see the replay if we can. The throw. Uh, oh. Thought there'd be an argument. There's Michael Young, Lee, who was out last time. And Keith, I think I think everyone. Oh, that was a check swing. Why did I swing at that? Ay, ay, ay. Ay. That was bad. And Blaylock over one as well. Here's the thing, Michael Young and Hank Blaylock are were can be are were all stars. In fact, in two thousand three, Hank Blaylock made the American League team win when he hit a home run off legend then legendary closer, Eric Gagne, and a three at three down for the Astros again. Great. Here's Roger Clemens, by the way. Not exactly a hitter hitter, but he does make up for it. And he um, had some controversies of his own. Won't go into them because, you know, <laughs> you two would probably be a little unhappy with me. Look it up, look up or ask your parents about it. And Roger Clemens gets caught looking on a two-seam. Nice. Good. Gotta be aggressive. So we got... Biggio got hit, got the curveball last time, so he's going to try and probably look for it again. And yes, uh, Biggio is one of the Hall of Famers back in the day, and Soriano could not get there. That was bad. And that's Biggio's second hit of the game. Let's just see if we could probably try to turn two here or something to, to kind of get out of this inning. And he did not have to check his swing because that was a strike regardless. A missed opportunity for a big hit for them. <laughs> Grand ball, Blaylock. Come on, throw the second out, and they take out the second baseman. Legal play because his foot was on the because his foot was on the bag. There was a time they re fixed the rules to try to prevent those slides, but the sl rule is if a guy is still the guy is still touches second, it's a legal slide. Otherwise, they call interferes, and the boat guy, the batter, and the runner are out. So that's something to point out there. There's a share hit a homer last time up, and oh man, why did I swing at that pitch? That was high, in the left center field. That's a catch. Did I believe, and I believe that was Lance Burtman there. There's Tadago again. Line drive left field. There's another. There's Lance Burtman again. Two outs, and there's Delucci who hit a double last time up. He also was held to Rangers in their playoff push back in 2004 because. In a key game against the Oakland Athletics, David DeLucci hit a game-winning double, and it scored two runs, and the Rangers, who were down, but with their last out, won the game 5-4. You can find it on YouTube somewhere, if you can. And that's an Oh, whoa! Throw the first! Oh, he threw it away! What? Okay, I did not see that coming. That's an error. What's, what happened there? First of the reason bottled it, and it went right past him. If he had some control, he probably would have gotten DeLucci out. There's a... Whoa, that's a lofty one in the right field. Greer just flied out to the right fielder. That's an easy out. And... Uh, and, um... I don't remember who that was in right field. I know that's not Lance Burtman. He's 17. That guy was 24. Ground ball, Teixeira. He could make the easy play himself. That's the first out. Hensburg again. Hensburg. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Line draw. Soriano makes the catch. And that's... Oh, the right field, field was Jason Lane. I was thinking it was to him, but I didn't, wasn't 100% sure. Ground ball takes Shira. He'll have to make a quick throw. And out of there. It's three at three down. We are going to the... I believe the fifth inning? Yep, fifth inning. And we're still ahead. Two nothing. And there's... That was a pop-up to right. On the inside part of the play, Lane makes the easy catch. All right, Dominguez apparently might be a fast runner, but he, but when he ground out, it was the last out of the inning. 
And that's an easy ground there. And out. Never mind. He's not that fast of a runner. There's Young. 0 for 2. Hope he can break out break out here with a big hit. Oh, that slider was like inside. But he still swung anyway. 0 and 1. Pitch. Michael Young. Fly ball. That is foul. Way foul. That would have been a good home run of it. Just as fair. That was the longest foul ball I've ever seen. And let's see he redeems himself. See you later. That one was not as deep. It was like 99 feet less than the last one. But it was still but he still got a home run there. Where did it go? And he, Oh, it hit, almost hit the upper deck. Yikes. He just hit up the hit underneath it though instead. That was a home run. And there's a base hit by Hank Blaylaw. Two straight hits for the Rangers here. Home run and now a single. And here's Soriano. He is 0 for 2. He's not as powerful. He actually did hit a home run off Clemens before. But he's not as powerful with, with uh, right hands as he is left hand hitters as he gets a base hit. Two, three straight hits for the Rangers here. And now to take Shara's up. 1 for 2. Hit a home run back in his first time up. And that is foul ball. It was a curb. I think it was a it was a split finger. That was that's Roger Clemens' signature pitch, his splitter. Two foul balls, and that one hit off his leg. Ow! That had to hurt. That's a mistake they're gonna have to live with. We see a color on that. You take advantage of that. Three run home run by Teixeira. That's called a mistake pitch, by the way. The second you see those type of pitches. You go for them. That one just went underneath the upper deck, but into the stands. And that's uh, Carlos Hernandez in the bullpen. And those bullpens are out, don't have the fence because it was outside, like back in the old days. If there was a bullpen, that they had them like just outside the dugout, but still on the field. So be careful of the foul balls. And there's a fly ball to left. That's a catch by Lance Burtman. And that. No, wait. No, it's not Lance Burtman. That's. That's a. Uh, that's Biggio. I forgot Biggio played outfield. That this Burtman's playing center. Mescanino gets a base hit. Rusty Greer is playing center field, so that's a so that's a uh, something to point out. Greer can play was played outfield a lot for the Rangers, but he also was known for his play in 1994 to preserve a playoff not playoff perfect game for then Rangers star. Kenny Rogers. We can't go to turn two here, and here's no way we're gonna get that. Great. Michael Young didn't throw in time. Clements is up. Nobody out. Let's, uh oh, he's gonna try and bunt, and the bunt is in the air. Makes the easy catch. So, we to Clemens failed to get a bunt down. That was that's pretty bad. Here's the pitch. My drive. Texera makes the catch, and oh, barely was not in time. Good, so good plays by Teixeira just stopped a potential rally. And Blaylock will get the force tag at third, and that's the end of their inning. And here is Delucci. Delucci. One for two, hit a double. Clems is still on the mound. I don't understand why. Because he gave up three runs in the, no, four runs, excuse me, back in the fifth. I would take him out now. Despite, even if you hold down the guys. You got to have a limit to when you need to get him out of the beginning. And there's two guys in the bullpen. Chad Harville and Gonzalez. And yep, here comes the manager. They're getting a lefty to face the lefty. Lefty match up the pitch. Grounded, foul. That's in the bullpen. They're 0-1. Pitch. Grounded. Another hit for Rusty Greer. They, he gets his second hit of the game. And Rusty Greer gets a double. Way to go, Texas. There's Barajas. He's one for two. It's a left-hand pitcher. He's, sometimes they put in Lair, not Barajas, when it comes to uh, when they're facing a left-hand. Because sometimes when you have different pitchers, like left-hand or right-handed, you switch out catchers. Sometimes pitchers have their own catchers they like to use. That's what they like. Some like choose, like, Barajas. Some would choose Gerald Lair. That's the second catcher. So that's something to point out. And that's popped up into first base. And oh, wait! He didn't. Oh no, he dropped. Oh no, no. Oh man, that's bad. You gotta feel bad. That's the second error of the game. And for the record, guys, this is on pro level, so this is not rookie. I am not rigging this. That's awful. 
And I'm tempted to bunt, but I won't. And whoa, that's foul ball, and that's a dinger. As in, it went back there. That was a change up on the outside part of the plate. 0 oh, 1 pitch. 92 on the corner. So he's he's slamming the outside part of the plate on this guy. And he hits it high in the air, deep in the left to right center field. Now we can go home, and that's going to be a sacrifice fly for Dominguez. And another run scores for the Rangers. It is 7 0, and Michael Young is at the plate, and he hit a monster. Stir home run, as in it was 376 feet, but he hit a bigger foul ball, which was 475 feet, which surprisingly, if it was fair, it probably would have been the biggest home run he ever hit. But he doesn't need it here. Base hit. Another run for the Rangers, and that will make it an 8 nothing game. I think that I think they be they're gonna be talking to man's gonna be talking to his bullpen right after this after this inning, and we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Rangers get more runs on the board it's eight nothing and here's Bagwell he is one for two today he got base hit in his first time up but did not get a hit in second time up and that's foul ball careful on the ankle geez Jeff Bagwell actually had injuries sideline him in near in the twilight of his career that's near the end and that's a pop-up center field Greer underneath makes the easy catch for the first out and here is Burtman. He's playing center field. 0 for 2 today. He's the type of guy that could probably hit a home run when you least expect it, or he will not. That's the second out of the inning. And here's Ensberg. 0 for 2. Ensberg! Morgan! Fouled off to the right. He was expecting the fastball, and he got the changeup instead. Sometimes as a pitcher, you just got to learn to mix up your pitches a little bit just to throw off these hitters because it's a strategy that Major League Baseball players or any pro pitcher would use to knock up their pitcher off their game. And this is an example of that swing and a miss. See ya. It was a two-seam fastball that went in and he struck out. And we're going to the seventh. And the Rangers lead off the seventh with Alfonso Soriano. And this is a left-hand pitcher he's facing, so that's a big, good matchup for him. Line drive left field. That's Biggio for the out. First out in the seventh. And here's Teixeira. Da he was very dangerous against left-hand pitchers back in the, back in the day. In fact, when he was a play right hand, when he was a right hand hitter, when he was switching, that is, it, it was very tough to beat him. And that's deep in the left field. Great catch by Biggio. That one would have been extra bases. There's Richard Hidalgo pitch. Line drive, right field. Vasconino makes the great catch. Good diving play. Wow. And they're going to 7 7 8 Take me out to the ball game. Yada, yada, yada. What's cool about those dome stadiums, you don't have to worry about rainouts. That's the good thing. Unless you're in a hurricane le level weather, which means that if, you have, if there's a hurricane in your in your area, you might want to you might want to consider moving your your stadium to games to another day because that's not safe and houston sadly is in a hurricane zone so that would make sense yeah just die throw that little fact out there because I, I and for the record i live in texas but i don't live in houston if anyone asks where exactly do i live don't because online that's too dangerous and i have and considering the fact that i have to keep my family safe I have to, I won't be able to reel that. Vasconino strikes out with a curveball. And Osmus, Brad Osmus, future manager at the time, and he ends up becoming manager of the Tigers and the Angels. He actually, had, he might have had better success. Actually, he did have better success with the Tigers and the Angels. That's an easy play right there. That And that's the third out. We're going to the eighth. And there's DeLucci at the plate. It's 8 nothing Rangers in the eighth, and that's a, throws a state pitch. That's a ground ball. Shortstop Adam Evans is going to try to hurry, and he will not get him in time. That was a not even close. Let's see the rush of the replay. He was outside the line, which is the infield, and that he was he was safe by about half a step. Here's Rusty Greer at the plate, and Greer hits it high to right field, gone. Uh, that was a curveball he threw, and Greer took advantage of it and whacked it over the fence. And to be honest, I didn't. It was barely out over the fence. It was just about a few feet above that line. And now it's 10-0 Rangers. 
There's a pitch to Barajas. He popped that one up in the air. And that's a catch to the mound. Didn't need to move much at all. There's Dominguez again. I'm going to keep him in. Making sure he throws a shutout. Ground there to the third baseman. And out. That's a, that's the second out of the inning. Here's Michael Young. He is two for four. Home run. Two RBIs. He had an RBI single last time up, which contributed to a which contributed to a, to a rally for the Rangers. And he hits it popped it right. That's foul territory. And that is not going to be a playable. And what was he doing? That's gonna pull your arm out doing that. 0-2 on Michael Young. The pitch. Grounded. Again, those check swings are killing me. That's an easy out. The th we're going to the bottom of the eighth with a score ten nothing. And looks like they got they're gonna bring a pinch hitter. A former Ranger, Mike Lamb. Mike Lamb did play for the Rangers from 2000 to 2003. He had then played for the Yankees in 2004, and then he went, and then got traded to Houston. Then he got traded to Houston, in just in time for the. Uh, I think he was traded in either mid 2004 or 2005. I don't remember exactly, but I remember he was the guy that had a deep fly ball that was caught by. By awesome, by an awesome center fielder, Gary Matthews Jr., who made one of the best catches in baseball history. But I don't think any catch could. Oh, what? Are you kidding me right now? It's going for a shutout, and he gets hurt. Okay, not gonna panic. We're gonna put in. We're gonna put in a lefty right now. He, I was not prepared for that. In my defense. So there was no way I was prepared for that. So we got Brian Shaw some on them to try to finish the inning. So here's the total: seven two thirds innings for for Juan Dominguez and Brian Shaw's probably might finish it up. And Raul Chavez is catching, and they got another pitcher for the uh, Astros, and that is a ball out that's outside because he did not go go around. Fans are mad. I don't care. One ball, no strikes, and that's a pop-up. Way playable and way out. That's one out. Soriano is up at the plate. Let's see if he can get a hit here. And it's a line draw, caught by the third base in Innsburg. Two outs. And there's Teixeira. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Danger, and that... That would have been the chef's kiss. Just crocked it. Yeah, thanks for the check. Just, thanks for nothing, Teixeira. 0 and 1 pitch, and that's the end. That oh, and Chavez is underneath this one, and that's the end of the Rangers half of the inning. This is the last. This is the last time the Rangers bat, and they hopefully, and the Astros start off with a line drive to Blaylock for the first out. Here's Lance Berkman. Lance Berkman. He's he's batting right-handed for the first time. He's a switch here just like Teixeira, and that was. And there's a fly ball to right. Hidalgo makes the great dive. Reaching catch. Ensberg 0 for 3 today. Hoping to get out, break the slump here. Ground ball. Young. He will make the throw. He will make the out. And that's the game. We played in Classic Stadium, which is the Astrodome. Again, comment below if you want to see a different stadium, like maybe Polo Grounds, for example. And I hope this, you guys enjoyed this game. I'll see you next time. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it.